Before we move on to something called residual income, I just want to talk briefly about return on investment. Now, return on investment is me measured in the very same way as return on capital employed. That is, our profit before interest and tax, divided by capital employed. So we're looking at how much profit has been earned compared to the money invested in the business. Now, I just want to discuss briefly the main benefits or, and issues with return on investment. So the benefits of this approach, as we have seen when we looked at our exercise on return on capital employed, is that it's a relative measure So, divisions of different sizes can be compared. Because our return on investment is calculated as a percentage, and we can use that to compare very different divisions within an organization. Likewise, we can use it to track performance over time. So for a particular division, we can look at the ret their return on investment over a number of years and see whether performance has improved or disimproved. So, they're the key benefits, but what are the drawbacks? So, issues with return on investment. Well, this mainly relates to the managers running these particular divisions. If they know their performance is going to be measured against their return on investment percentage, Perhaps they will do things to ensure they have a good return on investment uh, percentage, even if that's not necessarily good for the company. So one of the things they might do, so managers may choose not to invest in new non-current assets. So, for example, machinery. So, management may decide that their return on investment figure will be better if they keep their investment in the division low. So, they may decide not to invest in things like new state-of-the-art machinery, which actually, in the long term, might be a good investment for the company. So this is similar to what we saw in our budget section when we talked about dysfunctional behavior. In addition, we may make incorrect asset disposal decisions. So, we may decide to reduce the amount of assets or capital employed in our business, which again could improve our return on investment figure, but is not necessarily good for the company. Okay, so there are just a few additional things on our return on investment.